Hi everyone, Mark again here, letting you know how it was flying to Mexico during the pandemic. We left Scottsdale uh, around 11.30 in the morning and headed to the airport. Uh, it was a pretty easy experience getting through as you'll see ahead. With my American status, we're able to use the premium planes at the airport, which makes things a little easy, though I did see that there were a lot of people online, so we used the self-service checkout. But as you walk through, you can see that there's just not as many people here as pre-pandemic. Getting through security was easy as ever. The line for TSA PreCheck looked a little long, but it was mostly because people were spaced out. Uh, but yeah, getting through security was no big deal. So right now we're walking towards the American Airlines Lounge. Uh, there's normally three lounges that are open at Phoenix Sky Harbor. Right now, Americans only operating one, and you'll see some of the procedures that they're doing to try and help distance passengers throughout the experience, which I found pretty helpful. Lounge agents were behind plexiglass, which isn't any different than any other business operating right now that has to interact with customers. Uh, but one difference was you can choose your own seat in the lounge. Uh, they have another agent that leads you to some areas that will fit your party, which I thought was great. Um, everything was marked as sanitized, making people feel comfortable. Um, you know, the normal self-service buffet was not available either. What they had was someone making some hot food. They had some eggs, some sausage and eggs for people with salsa. Uh, they also had a snack box available, which you could get at the bar. Uh, the bar had alcohol, non-alcoholic options, but everything was served by a bartender. There was no coffee machine or soda machine available for guests to use. And so, coming up here, you'll see the snack box as I dig in. So it's pretty similar to what you can buy, or what you used to be able to buy on American Airlines. Um, some almonds, crackers, fruit snacks, um, there's you know, some sanitizing wipes, so it's actually something pretty great to keep with you as you uh, hop on board an American Airlines flight right now, especially if you're in an economy and you tend to get hungry because they're not selling anything right now. We were upgraded on our flight to first class, but it being an hour and a half long flight, uh, there was not much service to be had. Um, no pre-departure beverages. We could have theoretically asked for a drink, but we didn't. We just wiped down our seat and watched our movies. Um, so we arrived here in Dallas next, and Dallas was pretty empty. I've never really seen it this empty. Um, were some other passengers, but you know, if you're used to the hustle and bustle of DFW with people rushing between uh, their American Airlines flights, that just wasn't happening today. Now's a great time to remind you all to please subscribe to Jackson Jet Setting if you haven't already. Just hit the subscribe button that's in the lower right hand corner and we'd really appreciate it. So for our second flight from Dallas to Cancun, we weren't upgraded. Uh, there were three of us that were together in one row in the bulkhead, which we found to be pretty great. Um, you know, it was business as usual at the Cancun airport, though way less people. So we were able to get our bags pretty quickly. Uh, there was no additional screening and we were on our way to our hotel.